Good morning. Um, I've just been listening to um, a video on YouTube, which I'll link in the description, of uh, Elder, Roma, Elder Roma Wilson playing a version of uh, this train. This train is a clean train, Elder's calling it. Um, classic gospel tune. Harmonica players will know that the it's the same tune that little Walter used for my babe. Fun fact. Anyway, um, it's, 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 he's quite a singular player, is um, Elder Roma Wilson. I don't know a huge amount about him, um, but he's got a very raw, honest, earthy style of playing the harmonica and also of um, his, his singing and just the way he presents himself. Very, very cool stuff. Anyway, this version of Clean Train, I'm just going to whiz through quickly what he's doing um, because there's some really fun stuff here. So he starts off talking about how he used to watch the trains and whatever's going on in the train yard. And the, someone gives a big uh, whistle three times. And it's... Which is just holes one and two. With a bit of wire on there. I've got an A harmonica here. I think he's playing an A harmonica, by the way. Second position key of E, of course. And I should mention that in the video, he's playing uh, quite heavily cupped into a vocal microphone. And that's adding a lot of compression and bass and thickness to his sound. So it's quite significant that he's that he's doing that. You're not going to sound quite that way unless un unless that's what you're doing. So, those three whistles. And then it's followed, someone replies with two short tugs on hole one and two. And then he's off and running into his chorus. And this train is a clean train, now this train. And those little sort of train imitation chugs that he does in the breaks in the vocals are just in in one two three out out one two three and you can articulate that however you want you could do a like a ta ta two two kind of thing or a tucker 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 however you want to do it you'd even do it with your throat kaka kuku kaka kuku and that's just to punctuate the lyrics that are coming here and to obviously maintain that uh, sort of train imitation thing. So it's something like, uh, this train is a clean train, this train. This train is a clean train, this train. This train is a clean train and everybody's riding in Jesus' name. And that's when things get a bit fruity. This is what... Uh, what he plays next is what drew my attention to this when I heard it. So we've got this bizarre thing. I'll play something like what he does. Everybody's riding in Jesus' name, yeah. You get that? I didn't get it. It took me a little while to um, think about what was going on there. And a lot of listening. Sounds like a big mess, but there is sort of a melodic underpinning to it and he's just using it as a little riff at the end of the end of his verses here uh as, as a kind of wrap-up bow on the uh, on the verse but uh sort of buried in amongst all that sort of fast chording and whatnot there is a sort of melodic underpinning and i've worked it out that it goes something like this so you, you got these two two inhale chords I think that's pretty much what he's playing. Playing. Ba 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 ba. Which sounds very pretty by itself. Now that all doesn't come through necessarily in his playing because he's doing a lot of chording. So he's not hitting those notes clean when he hits that four, five, and six. He's allowing the other notes to breathe in a little bit. And I don't, I do, I do think it's a case of allowing himself to be uh, messy. It's not really messy if you're allowing it. You know what I mean? It's, it's a deliberate kind of uh, forcing more sound out of the harmonica 
kind of technique. Anyway, so that first little bit, this is quite tricky. If that first little bit is one, two, three, one, two, three, inhale. Then four blow, five blow, six blow, five blow. Then back to the two chords. That is one to three, one to three, inhale, four blow, four draw, three draw, two draw, two blow, one draw. Okay. Which is really nice, but there's a lot more notes creeping in around these melody notes. So I have prepared a version of the tab that's got octaves and extra chording in. Now this is much closer to the way that I would play it. It's closer to the way he's playing it. It's not accurate, by the way. I'm not, I can't work out exactly what's going on here. But this is near, right? It's near enough. Uh, it's enough for us to work with. So for the first part, I would do one to three inhale, one to three inhale. And then instead of four, five, six, five, I would just do that with octaves. Just to get other notes involved to make the sound bigger. I think that sounds uh, sounds a lot nicer. And then I'd do a similar thing with the four blow when we come back round. So we've got those two chords again. I'll go from the beginning. Then we're on this four blow, which I would octave again. And the same for the draw. So I'd do uh, one four blow octave, one four draw octave. Roll that octave down to just the single note on the three. But then instead of hitting the individual melody notes, I'm just going to play one, two, three chords. Um, inhale for the two draw, exhale for the two blow, and inhale again for the one draw. Catch that? And then we've got, uh, it does this nice, powerful inhale um, on the two draw or sort of the two, he might be chording it actually a little bit, might be a little bit of the two and one in there. But anyway, he's doing ba ba, and then there's, a, there's an exhale noise that he does. So that is loosening up your cup, breathing around the harmonica, opening your mouth up wide. Oh, sorry, I'll take my hand away so you can see. And that sounds like the air brakes or something on a train. Right? <laughs> This is this. I mean, this is the uh, this is the juice of the song. It's just this mad little, mad little riff. Then towards the end of the song, he does another verse, plays this little riff again, and then he just starts doing uh, sort of chugging stuff. Now he's got his own personal sense of rhythm going on here. He does all sorts of different variations on. But what he is doing is he's getting a nice breathy sound in there. And that is, he's doing his chugging on just holes one and two. And then when he gets that breathy sound, he's just opening up his mouth to include hold three and a bit of four. I think not breathing very much through the harmonica. But, and um, closing up the mouth to thin out the sound. You know, less space in your mouth, the sound's gonna come out thinner. So he's doing a bit of that as well. So it's like. Uh... 
something very similar to that. I just wanted to share that because I've been having tremendous fun. I mean, that riff is nuts. The more you play it, You'll find your own particular way of doing it, but as long as you stay in time, as long as that little melody is buried somewhere under there, then it's going to sound fine. Hope that was useful. See ya.